Hello. They do say that you should never talk about politics or religion. Well, I'm going to do both today, so wish me luck. On Saturday night, I was out for a few drinks with one of my oldest and best friends, who I've known since we did GCSEs together. As you might imagine, as we sipped our pints and chatted for a few hours, we covered all sorts of stuff in our conversation. However, when it came to the subject of the revelations about Matt Hancock, the ensuing media coverage, and his subsequent resignation, our discussion became quite heated. As often can happen during an intense conversation, the parties don't always fully listen to each other, and this can lead to misunderstandings. However, as my friend and I chatted, the more we discovered that we had a huge amount in common, and pretty much nothing that we disagreed on, despite our initial different focuses. There is perhaps a reflection that could be written about that experience, but I'll leave that for another day. As I reflected over the last few days on the news about Matt Hancock's sexual indiscretions, his flouting of the coronavirus rules, and other serious lapses of judgment, I was reminded of both an encounter Jesus had and also a piece of teaching from him. In the Gospel of John, an adulterous woman is brought in front of Jesus by a crowd eager to stone her to death, accompanied by a group of religious leaders who wish to use the incident to their own advantage with Jesus. Now, he initially does not get involved with their petty games, but when pushed to agree with the hideous yet culturally appropriate punishment, he replies, all right, do it. But let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. John records that when the accusers of the woman heard this, they slipped away one by one, beginning with the oldest, until only Jesus was left in the middle of the crowd with the woman. Presumably, the oldest left first as they realised that they had messed up the most in life in terms of keeping to God's laws. At the end of their time together, Jesus offers the woman forgiveness in the manner of how he speaks to her, whilst at the same time telling her to change how she's living. As well as this face-to-face -face encounter with an individual, a piece of moral teaching from Jesus also came to my mind this weekend in a similar vein. We've spoken already this year about the Sermon on the Mount, recorded in the Gospel of Matthew. In the weeks leading up to Easter, we looked at the teachings known as the Beatitudes. Later, in this long discourse, Jesus uses a potent and vivid metaphor which suggests that we should be cautious when judging others. He starts by saying, how can you think of saying to your friend, let me help you to get rid of that speck in your eye when you can't get past the log in your own eye? Jesus then goes on to forcefully say, you hypocrite, first get rid of the log in your own eye and then you'll see well enough to deal with the speck in your friend's eye. For Jesus, it was always very clear that judging was to be done by God alone, and humans should concern themselves with making their own life right. The focus for Jesus was that we should always look to our own faults, not our neighbours. Now, I fully agree that those in public life should be held to the highest of standards, and in many aspects, they should set an example for the rest of us to follow. But I also pray that in our day-to-day -day encounters, we might have an attitude of humility and self-reflection when we look at any aspect of the lives of those around us, whether they be colleagues, friends, or family. Bless you all.